Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? Hope all of you are doing well. Today I am here again with the third video lesson of your computer subject from the chapter Applications of Computers. Today's topic is Databases, Database Systems, Types of Databases Systems. So before watching this video, as you know, you have to grab your computer books and notebooks as well. Here are the contents of today's lesson. Database, Database Management System, Features of DBMS, Types of DBMS, the first type is TPS, Transaction Processing System. Second is MIS, Management Information System. Third, Decision Support System, DSS. Fourth, ES, Expert System. Then you have the softwares of DBMS as well. At the end of this video lesson, you have an activity. Databases and de Database Management System DBMS. As you know, businesses use large amounts of data every day. This data comes from customers, suppliers, employees, the government, competitors and so on. It is important for businesses to organize this data so that this can use information when they need it. They do this by creating a database. So, a database is a data structure that stores organized information. Most of databases contains multiple tables which may each include several kinds and several types of fields. For example, a company database may include tables for products, employees, and financial records as well. And other example of database is the database maintained by NADRA, National Database and Registration Authority. It contains data about the entire population of Pakistan. Next you have is DBMS, which stands for database management system a database management system is the software that controls that information database system consists of ways of organizing and storing data it also includes tools that make it easier for people to search for data some database system even enable managers to analyze the data to make important decisions as well. Here are the features of DBMS. The first feature is minimum duplication and redundancy. As you know, there is no physical file, so there is no chance of repetition or duplication because of digital data or digital files. Because of digital data, as you know, you cannot enter your data twice time because jab aap twice time entry karte ho, aapko pata hai ki aap kisi folder mein double time entry karte ho, to wo aapko ek notification show karta hai ki aapko jo earlier file hai, us pe isko replace karna hai, yaan per isko new one ke taur par save karna hai. So there is minimum duplication and redundancy. Saves storage space and cost. Because of paper procedure, no need of paper files and that's why there is no need of storage space as well. Because when we don't have paper files, we don't have to place them anywhere to place storage space. So that's why cost will also go, go down. Anyone can work on it. It is that much easy to use that everyone can use without learning any special programming languages. 
multi user access because of digital online data multiple users have access to use from different places as well provides high level of security digital online data ki wajah se there is no chance of losing data so because of digital data it is secured with the password which is unbreakable so that's why it is highly secured the next one and the last one feature of tbms is large database maintenance so we have billions of bits of data stores on same dbms हमारे पास ह्यूज एंड बल्क अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा होता है जिसे हम डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम में ईजीली ऑर्गेनाइज वे में स्टोर कर सकते हैं जैसे मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया है नादरा की एग्जाम्पल सो द नेक्स्ट वन सो हेयर आर द सम टाइप्स ऑफ डी बी एम एस एज वेल ऑल डेटा बेस सिस्टम्स enable users to store and access useful data however not all database system can help managers to make decisions so let's learn more about the different types of database systems there are four types of database system the first one is transaction processing system tps second is the management information system mis third is the decision support system dss and the last one is the expert system es here is the pyramid of types of dbms at the right so side of your screen Uh, bottom stop transaction processing systems isme workers include hote hain management information systems isme middle managers apne sare detail ko manage karte hain maintain karte hain decision support systems senior managers aayenge isme then you have executive information systems which may include the executives okay the first one type transaction processing system tps a transaction processing system is a software system that supports transaction processing it is the simplest type of database system it helps employees to perform routine tasks like filling out customer orders preparing bills calculating employees salaries and other similar tasks so basically it collects stores modifies and retrieves the data transaction of enterprise it also increases labor efficiency because when the every task or the every everything is recorded in this processing system so labor will work more efficiently high level of accuracy data integrity and security is needed in this system so now move to the next one system the next one system is management information system the management information system is more useful to the managers because it enables them search for information that they can use to make decisions so basically it is used for decision making and for the coordination control analysis and visualization of information in an organization it contains features 
that allow managers to create reports and charts based on that data. Managers can then use these reports and charts to make decisions. So basically, it acts as a communication and planning tool. MIS improves the operational efficiency of organizations. The ultimate goal of the use of a MIS is to increase the value and the profits of the business. On the right side of your screen, you have the structure of MIS as well. Hardware, software, and then you have database to maintain it, procedure, operating personnel, input and output, medium and message. This is the structure of MIS. Move to the next one stage. The next one system actually the decision support system so here is the next one system which is decision support system dss a decision support system is a database system that not only processes information in the form of reports and charts but also helps managers uh, find out the result of a, uh, of a particular decision. So a decision support system is an information system that organizational decision making activities. It is a system of decision making and problem solving. A manager might need to decide the price of a new product. He could fix the price at either rupees 10 or rupees 12 what should he do the cn support system can be either fully computerized or human powered or a combination of both a dss has feature that allow the manager to test the effect of each option the DSS tells the manager how many customers would buy the product if it, its price was uh, fixed at rupees 10. It can also tell the manager how many customers would buy the product at rupees 12 as well. The manager can use these results to decide the price. So it helps people make decision about the problems that may be rapidly changing and not easily specified. So again, at the right side of your screen, here are the features of DSS. Data, documents, knowledge about the products and their prices as well, models and communication. So the last one system is expert system. It is the most advanced type of database system. It is the piece of software which uses databases of expert knowledge to offer advice or make decisions. In addition to giving the results of several options, an expert system also suggests, uh, suggests a decision to a manager. An ES might suggest that a manager fix their price at rupees 10 because more customers will buy it at a lower price. However, export systems are used for more complicated, pro complicated problems as well. So, an export system is a computer system that emulates the decision making ability of a human expert. So basically, the fundamental of the ES depends upon its knowledge. So if you have no knowledge, you can't take decisions. So for decision taking, you have to have knowledge. So therefore, it is also called, it is also known as knowledge based system. On the right side of your screen, here is the structure of expert system. You can see there is a non-expert user and the other side there is a knowledge from an expert. 
सैम्पल इनपुट किया जा रहा है इसमें सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ यूज़र इंटरफेस द एक्सपोर्ट सिस्टम इंटरेक्ट विद द यूजर्स टेक्स क्यूरीज एज एन इनपुट इन अ रीडेबल फॉर्मेट एंड पास इट टू द इंटरफेरेंस इंजन After getting the response from the interference engine, it depends the output to the user. In other words, you can say it is an interface that helps a non-expert user to communicate with the expert system to find a solution. तो मैं आपको इसकी एग्जाम्पल इस तरह से दूँगी कि बहुत सारी इस तरह की इन्फॉर्मेशन जो आपको नहीं पता होती या एक प्रोसेस जिसमें आपको नहीं पता कि किस तरह से परफॉर्म करना है यू नीड योर टीचर फॉर योर गाइडेंस सो टीचर इज़ एन एक्सपर्ट एंड यू यू आर अ नॉन एक्सपर्ट यूज़र तो आप टीचर की हेल्प से अपने उस प्रोसेस को प्रॉपरली परफॉर्म कर सकते हो सो मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन so students here we have the top dbms softwares the first one is oracle dbms it is basically a collection of a data treated as a unit the purpose of a database is to store and retrieve related information the next one is microsoft structured query language server MS SQL Server The Microsoft Relational Database Management System is a software product which primarily stores and retrieves data requested by other applications. The next one is FileMaker. It is a relational database application in which an individual may design and easily share on the internet a database file by starting with a blank document or implementing ready made or customized templates the last one is microsoft access very simply the microsoft access is an information management tool that helps you store information for reference reporting and analysis microsoft access helps you analyze large amount of information and uh, manage related data more efficiently than the microsoft excel or other spreadsheet applications so that's all for today at the end of your lesson there is an activity as usual do read page number 108 109 and 1010 from your course book solve your worksheet appropriately with the help of your course book and with the help of your your video lesson so after solving your worksheet do send it back to me for marking and grading which is quite important for you for your promotion to the next one level so thank you so much everyone take care of yourself allah hafiz